Welcome to Austria from Markham 3D and today we're going to be continuing on with our journey of creating this short film. Where were we? So the last week, sun, today's Sunday, Wednesday, we were creating our characters. So if we bring them up, our Mr. Character Isaac Blend. So this is what we were working on. Um, I need to bring him back into Reillusion and redo the skin texture because I wasn't happy with the one that we've got in here. Um, and while we're at it, let's just bring up the skin texture that we will be using. Um, I don't really, I'm not a fan of all this. Um, however, I do like the stubble, that's the word. Um, the beard, I reckon we could probably work on it some more. I think that's all about the texture there that we need to fix up. Um, we did paint this cap, the skull cap. However, the texture was lost, but that's fine because we're putting it back in Reillusion to um, put the shape keys on the beard. So when he talks and you know, moves around, the beard will kind of move with it as well, which is what we want. Um, let's bring up Mr. Ian Herbert. <laughs> character Ian um, he needs a little bit more work as well whoops let me just open up restream just so I can see what you guys are chatting um, and this was Ian Herbert that we were working on Herbert Hubert far out um, so I'm just waiting for these textures to load <laughs> you can see I'm actually fairly happy with how the facial here came out um, once again, we've got to paint the skull cap. That texture of the hair isn't the best, but that's something we can still fix up a little bit later. We've got a bit of a straggly hair here. Control L, delete vertice. And so there we go. That's not too bad. I'm fairly happy with that. Um, obviously, we got to edit some of the base mesh because you know we've got the pillow hanging through. Far out. We're going to do it quite a bit by the looks of it. Uh, but that's all. I'll fix that later. This, these files were here were mainly just for doing the hair and obviously a little bit of facial hair. Um, let me just open up the project project, uh, load project, just so you guys can see the actual face texture that I'm going to be putting on. I'm trying to work out and I know how to import the beard. So that face texture is a lot cleaner. Whoops. We're not in blender. How is it? There it is. Um, the face texture is a lot cleaner. There's a lot less artifacts, um, but we do have to draw that stubble in. However, luckily enough, I've already taken some photos of my beard, um, and then we'll use that as reference when we come into this. But it's more now I'm just struggling with um, the transferring of weights because I can transfer the weights from the beard. However, like the beard's obviously this long. Actually, we'll just go back to the file kind of like down here is parented to spine one, I believe. And so what's happening there is that obviously if you move the head, those beard particles, yeah, particles will kind of stay there. So that's something I've got to fix up, but let's move forward. And what I'm going to do is get rid of our lady character because I couldn't find the lady. So delete and delete delete can't select it there we go let's try again and delete so let's bring up my character oh gosh where's my character let's come back into here file open recent marco load project it's going to quickly export it because i can't remember where i saved it while that's opening up we're just going to jump into my short film project files characters yeah, I don't think so. All right. It's got a little bit of big head. That's all right. That's not too bad. It looks like me. A little bit of Emmett here. <laughs> so let's go file, export, FBX. Let's go preset to Blender. We just want the mesh. Export. And I'm just going to save that to characters. Right click, new folder. Oops. Oh, fuck this thing again and then we'll just call that char char underscore marco 
save wap let's just quickly fix that up to be Marco um, just open up a new blend file I'm going to import everything and then that way I can quickly rig it oh yeah it's going to do all that I'm trying to work out a new way of rigging oh far I forgot all about that surely I've got already a project file of me somewhere so I'm just having a quick look that's me Dang it, where did I? I'm just going to search my name in this folder. Oop. No, 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 no. Dang it, you suck. Oh. Oh. Right click, properties. Let me just quickly grab that. Oh, well, that sucks. All right, let's import FBX. Dang it. All right, so what I might do is I might just use the female for now. So let's close that. Let's come back into here, file, open recent, scene one. I'm just gonna reload this. And because we're gonna be using the NLA editor, it's slightly annoying, but because, yeah, uh, we'll be using the NLA editor, I can get those audio files and motion capture files, click and drag and put it onto these. So first off, let's grab all of this delete keyframes and then let's go and just delete all our camera keyframes and I might just save this again as file save as let's go motion capture test lovely jubblies um, pose mode and I'm just gonna reset the pose alt R alt G alt S and let's go into object mode Okay, now we go to start importing our facial motion capture. So let's go into Word. Word. And Henry, welcome, buddy. How you doing on this fine Sunday evening? <laughs> oh, jeez. File, import. Let's now import the FBXs. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go import motion capture Ruby. And we go import. Let that come through. Come on. We're getting there. Green cup as always. Priorities. Fire. Oh, I didn't think about this. Importing was going to be a pain. Okay, so there's our character. Let's just kind of grab him. I'm just going to move him off to the side. And then from here, let's go just into the animation. We'll come up here into NLA. We've got our character selected. Good. Let's go backwards. Shush phone. Dope sheet, action editor. No, I want shape keys editor because the face is controlled by the shape key. And let's go into object mode. This one, no, nope, the body. The body has all our shape keys. I'm going to call this. Which one did I import? Far out. Let's go into our folder. Oh, we'll do this. Um, Call it MC for motion capture underscore one. Oh, actually, let's go underscore Ruby underscore one. MC underscore Ruby underscore one. There we go. So now that has that. I can now come in here and select our character mesh, which obviously I can't because I've got that proxy, uh, sorry, got that deselected. So let's click on that. Oh, it's a freaking proxy. Oh, maybe, dang it. 
Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay. So what the problem is at the moment is because I'm using a linked object, I can't apply the shape keys to the body. Far out. Let's just try. Let's go proxy, make proxy, um, body, 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 base. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. That's fine. And then we go, um, body. Why is it rough as guts? I don't know. So it's got kind of, um, what it's got at the moment is it has the two meshes on top of each other, which is slightly annoying. However, now we do have our facial motion capture stuff. And you can see that it's moving around. Dang it. Far out. So that means I need to append the character. That's what it means. So how else would you be able to Always a problem. Always. That's weird that I can't edit though. Actually, see, I can do that. If I go proxy, oops, let's go into object. So now I'm trying to troubleshoot problems. Can't go into that. I can go into edit mode. No, I can't go into edit mode. Why not? If I go delete, still has a skin there. How can I break apart this mesh? Because to me, if I make a proxy, I should be able to pull out the body. I don't know what that is. Because like if I do hair, then we've got duplicate hair sitting on top of each other. If I go into the original file, If I go into the original file, yes. Okay, let's try that. So I'm gonna go into our project file. Um, Ruby. Ooh, I'm gonna guess it's this one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, JR Design, howdy buddy. I'm going to select the body remove the body from the collection. I don't know, whichever collection. There we go. Did I delete it? What? What is this sorcery? Okay, let's just undo that. So it's in collection. So it's sitting there. All right, let's keep it that. So what's happening is that if I make a proxy of the body, it will duplicate the mesh. So now I'm gonna remove the body mesh from the collection. File, open recent motion capture test, don't save. We're back to here. Okay. Let's select our body. So we go back into here. No, the body's there. Dang it. Why is the body there? The body shouldn't be there. So let's do what we can do best. Let's close Blender and reopen. Ah, how about I save it? Idiot. So let's now go back in. Let's, whoops. Let's now open up, just for the sake of let's delete that default cube. <laughs> open recent, don't save. Good, now there's no body. So that means if I select this and select the body, 
Now we go make proxy. Far out. That didn't work. You piece of rubbish. No, 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 no. Um, add to collection. Dang it. Uh, did I save it? Oops. Back into the scene. File. File. Open. Motion. Wrap. Body's still not there. My goodness, this is going to be great. Hair. Character Ruby collection. Of course. Character Ruby. Control S. Far out. File. Over reason. Mm, that one. Okay. And so we need to be able to select the character. So making a proxy is not what needs to be done. Actually, I think I need to actually append the character in. So, so at the moment I've got characters linked. So if I were to make a change to this character in the blend file where it's from, it would come across all the um, linked files. However, if I append it, that means I have to kind of like re-import it into every scene. Mind you, there is only two scenes. So maybe we can get away with it. Um, and I think for now, rather than smacking my head up against the wall, I'm just going to do that. File, append. That one, character. Ruby, collection, character Ruby. There we go, cool bananas. Why did I do that? Ah, oh, now I can go into animation, come up into um, shape keys, and I've got my shape keys. Oh, will this work? So from here, I'm just going to grab the body. Ah, you jerk. What? Come on. Pose mode. There we go. Ah, oh, far out. It's always a problem. And then we'll kind of rotate that around. And then from here, I'm going to come in and now re-import, import FBX, our motion capture data for the face. And I have made, I have made these specifically short. So let's now import. Let's give it a second. And now we should be able to go into our shape key editor, rename the shape keys, and then I can apply it to our Ruby character. I hope. That's the plan. All right, we've got our character in. There we go. We're in our shape key editor. From here, what's that? Not that, that one. It is definitely this one. So we're gonna do MC for motion capture. Um, Ruby underscore one, beautiful. And the tick is there for a fake user, so it's gonna stay there. I am going to come into here and select all that and delete, because I don't need that character. From here, we're going to select our body, MC Ruby, and then technically, Ruby, you told me that you told me the car would have been ready by now. Yes, I did. Yeah, Kubernetes. Mm. <laughs> Excellent. So now, what I got to do is I got to re-import all the other ones in. Um, because as per our script, 
we kind of came in and we labeled each line. And so our um, shape key files, that's what we're gonna keep that name. And then that way we can always refer to it. What I can also do now is come up here into nonlinear animation. Um, we can push down, I believe. Okay, not that one, not that one, not that one. Where's Ruby? That's this one here. And so now that I've got that shape key, so we can see that CC body base, which is this one, um, which we probably should, cannot edit external library data. Ah, get stuffed. So we can always rename that. Um, now we can move the facial motion capture data. And then from here, let's line that up with that um, bring in our other timeline and we will change this to actually let's duplicate this window we will change this to movie clip editor I believe no video sequencer and this one here is our Ruby character Just want to line that up. There we go. From here, I can go add sound backup motion capture Ruby. There we go. Oh crud! And I recorded everything at sixty frames per second, so I got to change that because now if I were to press play. This car was meant to be doing the rounds by now, getting it up for auction. Okay, let's select both of these. G, will they both move? No. Okay, let me, I want to see what the waveform says now. So we can select our waveform, press N, display waveform. And so we can see that we've got our little get in there. Um, let's go G and we're going to place it about here. So minus 66 came up there. I can now select that G minus 166. Car would have been ready by now. Yeah, I know Leo. This car was meant to be doing the rounds by now. Getting it up for doing the rounds by now. Yeah, I know Leo. This car was meant to be doing the rounds by now. Dang, it's only coming through the left sound. Um, can I shut you up for a sec, buddy? So I'm trying to work out adjust sound. Let's just bring that down to zero. Yeah, I know, Leo. That's why I was having problems with the blinking. I know, Leo. Okay, stop, stop. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. So I think I'm definitely gonna have to come back in and kind of clean this up. But we now have that all. Um, obviously we've got to replace this character because male voice, which is fine. I'm still waiting for Isaac Butterfield to do my lines in Hubert to do his lines, um, but we're kind of getting there. So we know that this works now, which is most important. Obviously I already knew that it was gonna work, but it's good to um, test. Uh, Cause that's what happened was the problem with, with Terraformer, I didn't test and I actually lost the whole day's work. Um, if you actually watch Terraformer, which is a short film that I made in 10 days, in the first scene, his jaw doesn't even move. It's, he just talks like this. And that was because of, um, I deleted the wrong bone. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks for making quarantine possible. <laughs> Putting, um, uh, thanks man. Really appreciate it. Appreciate it, Chris. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna be doing this a lot after quarantine. I'm actually, I'm actually really busy after, um, 
because of quarantine. With work, I actually haven't worked from home at all. <laughs> um, we've our work's actually been has employed like an extra three thousand people, and so I've actually had to go into the office and actually set up their desks and all that. So it's just been crazy here. <sighs> I'm tired. It's ten thirty, but it doesn't matter. We're going to keep going for a bit more. All right. So this is slightly annoying. Um, I'm not going to bore you guys with constantly importing and exporting files. Uh, especially because I'm going to re-rig this character. Mind you, I need to do that, but that's a boring thing. I'm just trying to think of all the things. So there's, I don't know if any of you guys watched the motion capture data video that I released not long ago. Uh, if one of you guys have a Blender course, that would... Uh, if any of you have a Blender Python tutorial course, I would love to freaking see it because I would love to be able to learn Python. I hate Python. I hate coding. But this is stuff that I need to know. So what I need to work out now is... Crud, what do I need to work out? What I need to work out is... Why do I need to do that? Right. Okay, that's what it was. So at the moment, I've got a bone list of the FBX import coming out of Character Creator. And what I need to do is assign it to our Rigify bones. Um, Auto Rig Pro. I'm even thinking about using Rigify because I do like the fact that with Rigify, there's that scale like there's a slider that if you pull it out, it kind of, can you see that? Yes. Um, if you pull it in and out, it kind of makes the bending of the fingers. I really like that feature of Rigify. Um, so I was thinking about doing that, but the, the character, once I've imported into Blender, so if I just open up a new file, 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 new general, don't save, select all, delete. Yeah, delete that default cube. Import FBX. If we come into Ruby, up, 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 characters, Marco, there we go. Import, I'll show you what I mean. The, there's no point in kind of like re, white painting, I've got undies on. Let's delete those undies. So this already has an armature. So let me just click on the armature. So, I mean, this is another little boring thing that I need to do, but I'm just kind of showing you guys that it exists. And we can see if I go into edit mode, we can see that we've got the base left clavicle, which is the shoulder. If I go shift A, add in an armature. Oh, I think it's this one. Yeah, it's that one. What I can do, what the heck is that bone? Pelvis, oh, far out. What's this? Left thigh. Oh, well, there's no pelvis in that one. <laughs> How would you do that then? So I kind of want to be able to assign that rig, which, you know, because it's got a pelvis, I might not actually not use it now. Assign that rig to the weights that already exist. So now if I maybe, if I bring up N Auto Rig Pro, which is here, smart, let's select the body. And what I'm going to do is just get selected objects. Let's quickly hide, I mean, show our rig. I'm just gonna quickly do this just so we can, I can show you what I'm talking about. Shoulders is there, add wrists, add spine root, add ankles. Ah, oh, there was an update to Auto Rig Pro as well. If I click go, 
this will create the skeleton and then what I need to do is move the skeleton into the exact same positions nope 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 okay and then once I generate the rig then I need to assign the body to the rig using the modifiers. So if we come into nope, I've got here, we can see that the armature is applied to this armature. But obviously we want to apply it to the auto rig pro armature. Ooh. Oh no, that should be fine. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Um, and then that way, I'm not relying on Auto Rig Pro to kind of guess the weight painting. I'm more relying on the actual weight painting coming out of Character Creator, which obviously, you know, that's what we kind of pay for. And so that's the, what's the point of this spreadsheet is that I will need to go back in and kind of work out which one's which. All going back to the whole point of <laughs> Python. I want to learn Python. I have tried so many times to learn coding. Uh, let me just quickly go into here. Let's select our Auto Rig Pro thingamabob. Let's bring up scripting. I just want to run this one command. What? Oh, because they're vertex groups, not. No, wait. No. Ah, oh, dang it. Anyone in chat know how to get the list of bones in a body? That would be handy. <laughs> oh. Hang on, maybe I can just do this. Match to rig. Yeah, let's work backwards. And then I'm going to just quickly select object. That to that skin bind now obviously the rigs off i don't really care for that what i do care is just getting all the vertex groups and then this line here which i discovered somewhere oh, i freaking hate python i want to learn python i hate python i hate coding i understand the concepts of coding you know i can use um unreal engine i can make games in unreal engine but i cannot for the Life of me, sorry, the life of me. <sighs> yeah, Cody. <laughs> Cody. There we go. Hello, darling. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Oh, brilliant. Let's open up another Word document. Um, let's go into here. Control V. Control R. I hate you. Control F. Get stuffed. What's the replace thing now? Roll out. Merge rigs, no. I need to rename the vertex groups to the rig that I want. Replace. All right, now I'm trying to remember this. If I go, if I do, whoops, come on. If I grab this, find what, something like that no it's not that um let me just quickly do a quick google um word replace return -da -da -da. there it is up arrow p i was close if i go replace all yeah buddy close and then let's just get rid of that one and that one you know the word let's bring that over here Let's grab all this. Ah, oh, dang it. Like so. And then we select this. Whatever. A to Z. And then this is the way I've done it in the past is I've kind of worked out backwards which verte which bone needs to go across obviously like foot left F 
foot. There we go. Okay, foot L. Foot L. Foot L. Foot L. Base L foot. Hey, oh, it's not in alphabetical order. I would do that. And then when I actually, if I do control Z on a whole bunch of this, go back into layout, do I still have the correct vertex groups? Just checking. No, I've got the wrong vertex groups. But for instance, I could come down to the feet and I would find left foot and I would rename that to foot L. Um, armature, We will, this will become, what's this armature called? Rig. So if I go back to the shoes and then select that to rig. When I come into here, pose mode. Yeah, that's fine. You can see that now the shoe is attached to that. Now, obviously this bit down here is not attached to it because that is still pointing at the toe, I'm going to guess. So if coming to the vertex groups, we got left mid, left big toe. So let's go back into our group here. Foot, 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 toe. Is there a toe? Toes. L. So if I come back into my character and we go, that can be that group and that can be that group. Now we, you can see that we've assigned the toe to that. And so now the character without re-weight painting everything is now stuck to our other rig, if that makes sense. How to record motion capture data with connect so I use, I have motion capture thing, connect, thank you. Um, I do have a secondary one, but I don't have a powerful enough laptop um, PC to run that one. Oh, I got that PC. Anyway, um, I have used it in the past where I've using two connects using Breckel system. Lately, I've been using the Oculus Rift using glycan um, the results for hands and head are good but not for the rest so yeah shut up so that's that's a pretty important thing that if you're going to be using motion capture data well if you're using like character creator and you want to put it onto a nice rig that's really good and that's why one of the reasons why i want to learn scripting is so i can you know, rename all those bones, do this manually. So where, you know, I can select the rig prior to this and move the bones into all the right locations. And then I can generate blah, 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 blah. So that's one thing I want to do. Hello. I can't say your name. Um, yeah. Merge rigs not going to work. Official Luke Hopkins. That's kind of cool. Now I've deviated from what we needed to do. Yes. So that's something I've got to do with all three characters. I've really um, tried to keep the character count down to a minimum. Um, so that's something I will do offline, import all the motion capture data. I'll do that offline because rather than, you know, doing it one by one, I found that importing, if I were to import like a whole scene of motion capture data, that's going to take ages. Um, I am in the... I want to say in the process, hopefully before I end of financial year, buying a motion capture suit, I'm going to really push to try and do that, save some pennies. Green cup and a green screen, always got to love that. Um, what else is there? But that's going to be expensive for me because that's going to be, I think if I go through a perception neuron, neutron, that's 1500 US, which is about two and a half thousand Australian plus import tax. I'm going to have to pay probably five, 600 bucks on top of that. So yeah, I'm kind of, ugh, but I know it needs to be done. So the reason why I'm not importing everything on here onto this character is because I'm going to have to redo it all on the next character as well. So I'm not going to really worry about that right now. Let's, and let me just show you quickly. What does a scene actually look like now if we come into layout 
for those of you who haven't seen this for a while, welcome. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I will go back and, oops, this is me. I think I, I will probably redo a few of these as well. Um, I think it can be a little bit better. Like, I love that mole. That's this one here. So it's kind of mirrored. But anyway. This will be our Ian Hubert character. That dude's actually tank. I was watching him. I was watching the Blender talk again. I'm like, far out. And then this will be our Isaac Butterfield. I need to redo the skin shader. Because um, I don't... I'm not a fan of that. I am a fan of the stubble, though. That kind of helps out. I think i got to fix the textures on here. I don't think that really works. There is a texture that I have that I'll probably use. Um, my sock came off. That's fine. I'll take that off. And then once I put on the new skin texture, we'll paint the skull cap as well, like we did on Monday's tutorial. Maybe Tuesday's tutorial. I can't remember which one it was. So yes, there's a lot of stuff to do offline. I can't do as much as I'd like until I get the audio files coming through. Um, that's something I really need to do. If you... More than happy to help people out if they've got problems. I've been helping out quite a few people on like weird problems. Um, you can just jump on my Discord if you want. What else is there? I'm trying to think. If you can, suggest a Python course for me. I really want to learn that. Um, what else? I'm just trying to think. Is there anything else to be covered? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Let me just show you. This is what the scene looks like. Let's just do an Alt H. There we go. And so if I just go into this camera mode. Um, let's select this. And then you can kind of see, this is what our scene is going to look like. It's looking rather white. I don't know where... Oh, Roblox. Go away, Roblox. Um, I meant to have, like, orange lightish here somewhere. Ah, that's because I haven't done that. If I go back into File, 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 Open Recent, uh, Garage. There we go, that's the one. Don't save. Almost spilled that all over me. Let's now go into this thing. Huh. I don't know why that's not working. Okay, let's go into here. Rotate. And... Yeah, so this is what our scene will look like. Um, obviously, I got to work on the car a little bit more. Um, I got to rig the car, just mainly just the doors. I don't need to rig the wheels or all that. Um, but this is where primarily the um, scene, both scenes, will be taking place. Obviously, you know, we've got to throw some textures on there, make sure they're sitting right. I've been saying this for a while, but fix that. Um, whoops, what are you doing, silly Marco? Um, Definitely, i got to fill in these walls. I'm thinking posters, but I still haven't searched for any posters. Um, actually, no, I did check texture textures.com, and there was nothing really that I liked on there. Um, but other than that, I do like this back wall, but you don't see it, which is really annoying. The sun coming through, it's... Even this area here is very industrial. That's looking quite nice. I really do like that. Um... I haven't even put textures on that. Far out. Initially, this was going to be the car was going to be on jacks, but I just kind of set the car down like that. But yeah, it's coming along slowly. I think the not having the audio files is what's holding me back. Um, the other thing I did is I finally got the Cat Loco motion capture system, which is these three things. And so what this does is kind of like, this is a leg, this one's a leg, and this one's a hip. So you kind of attach them to your, le your feet and your hip. And with the VR headset, you got extra tracking markers. However, of course, the hip one doesn't work. 
So I'm having to go through Cat Loco to work out what's the problem, what do I do about it? And I'm hoping that they just stink and replace it, which would be nice. So that was a kick in the pants. That was a really big kick in the pants. Ah, uh, sir, so please help me. My PC's lagging SP much soon. Simple character modeling, how to fix. In sculpt mode? Is I'm assuming what you're saying? I don't use sculpt mode. I avoid sculpt mode. <laughs> and I don't make characters. That's why I purchased Character Creator 3, because um, as per the discussion that we had last week, or maybe Wednesday or something, time like you put it this into perspective is that you know if i were to charge myself ten dollars an hour to learn character creation 20 hours and it's still not the best and then it takes me another 10 hours to make another character that's 300 bucks i can buy character creator for 300 bucks and last stream on wednesday we created two characters in an hour Psh. so um Da -da -da -da, that so yes i'm very happy with how the scene's coming along the car's coming along nicely let's go let's actually open up the car 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 race car v2 um because all the files actually haven't been linked across yet and if we come into this view oops a little bit of mountain dew on a Sunday night at 11 p.m. far out. Um, you can see that we kind of have been working on the back engine here. And I put some lights in there. This back window, I don't know. I, oh, I don't know. Shift N. I've got some weird black artifact through here. But I've assigned the materials correctly. Because if I come here. Yeah. So I don't know. Oh, jeez. Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. Here. If I go assign. Yeah. If I do this. And then went like this. Assign. No, you're a jerk, aren't you? Yeah, 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 you are. Bloody blender. So anyway, that's a weird problem that I got. Is that purely personal? It is. This is all personal. This is all personal. Reated. <laughs> um, I do. My deadline is end of July. May, June, July. Yeah. So, ooh, no, it actually might be end of June. I'm not sure. So, but yeah, like I said, I'm waiting for those audio files from my voiceover actors to come through. And then once that comes through, I can start dancing and laughing and animating and crying and more crying and sweating and crying. <laughs> um, what else were we working on? So we've been working on the interior of the car. It doesn't need to be that perfect because we're not really going to be seeing it. So we'll see it from maybe this angle here. Um, you know, we've got chairs in there and so on and so forth. But initially there's probably going to be a wide shot like this. And then it will come in like so. And then probably over the car like this. Where they will be sitting. Uh, especially in the first scene. They'll probably be sitting on this edge over here. And so it'll be kind of like this shot here. And then in the second scene we will have. Maybe even like this. A wide shot of the third character leo coming in grabbing something and then yeah um so yeah definitely just this little interior needs to be done um you can see that we started creating stuff if i come into extreme pbr combo material whoa, I don't know, leather we just throw a leather on there maybe that one remove that one and let's add that one and then we can come in let's maybe select that you smart UV project yep 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 and then from here whoops go to edit mode and we can go maybe 0.5 let's go 0.1 to really make that 
leather texture, nice and small. That's not too bad. And then a carpet down the bottom. Let's give the carpet a like a black fabric. No. Carpet, huh? Oh. Nothing. I'd probably give it that. Ah. It kind of works. So obviously this bit here will probably be the interior, like some sort of plastic in there. Hey, buddy. Paused. What paused? I paused? Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, we're back on track. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's what the car's slowly coming along. Definitely the front wheels will be replaced. We'll be replacing the back wheels. And yeah, that's about it. So it really sucks that I'm in like kind of like this holding pattern. So I might leave it there. It's 11 o'clock. I'm going to get up early. Homeschooling. Lovely. But it's fine. i got good kids. Um, and yeah, so if you can, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. If you can, share the channel around. I'm trying to hit my goal of hitting 25,000K, 25,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And as of this month, things have picked up, which has been good. If you have any questions about anything, please feel free to contact me the my contact sorry my contact details are in the bottom of the video um that's about it i don't know we'll leave it at that thank you very much for stopping by very grateful i will be back on sunday and hopefully we've got some video uh, we hopefully we've got some audio clips there characters are created wham bam thank you ma'am everything is set up and we go from there no worries thank you very much